guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I am going to be unboxing my spring 2023 FabFitFun box. This is, I believe, my missing box that has been found. I'm not really sure. I'm in the group of people that had a label created in Indianapolis on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And then it sat, like, label created, there was no movement. Um, I finally contacted FabFitFun after just over two weeks, and they looked into it and said, yep, your box is missing, we'll reissue you a new box, all of your choices are in stock, um, a few of my add-ons were out of stock, so they were going to refund me, I think it was just two add-ons that were out of stock, they were refunding me for those, and then, like, a few days later, I got movement on a tracking number that I think is the original tracking number, but I'm not positive because there was technically two tracking numbers from that day. I don't know. I really have no idea. It seems like their shipping has been a mess this season. So I think this is my original box with my original add-ons. I guess we'll see if all of my add-on choices are in here or if just some of them. And then we'll know if this is the replacement box or my original box. I don't know. Am I still getting another box? It's... I have no idea. Um... I've honestly got like four different tracking numbers on my FabFit, like on FedEx app with FabFitFun that have no movement. So I honestly have no idea. Some of them are like created a month ago. I have no idea. So we're going to get into this. I'm hoping this is my original box because I was kind of sad about the two uh, add-ons that were out of stock. But we will see. I was out at a baby shower with my daughters uh, this afternoon and my husband texted me. It's Sunday afternoon and he texted me. He's like, uh, you just got a FabFitFun box um, in the mail. It was just delivered to the front porch. I was like, really? So he sent me a picture. I was like, that's crazy. So we will see what this is. I don't know. Um, let me know down below. Did you get your annual box already? This is what it looks like inside here. Did you get your annual box already or are you still waiting on yours? Was yours lost in the black hole of shipping? And I think I just moved the camera. Sorry, guys. Um, or did you actually get your stuff like you were supposed to? Okay. Okay, I think this is my original box because that looks like the missing add-ons. Okay, before I get my box out, I'm going to take the stuff that's on top of the box um, out here for you guys. This is, I'm pretty positive, my missing box because this is something that was missing from add-ons that they were refunding me for. Okay, so this is the pistachio brulee eau de parfum this is supposed to smell like the bum bum cream i can't smell it in there we're gonna spray it oh yeah that smells really good yeah it's not exactly like the bum bum cream but it smells pretty close and i actually really like that and i feel like i bumped my camera way too much when i was moving that around i don't know now i'm at least centered in the frame here um i like this super happy that it actually came i heard that it doesn't like last um scent wise for too long but it smells good i like it okay here's another add-on that i got in the add-on sale this is the daily concept daily concepts hair towel towel wrap um this is actually my oldest daughter wanted this she had uh one of these i believe a pink one and i think the button came off of it or something so she was wanting another one so that is hers um here's my free renew water they must have like a million smart waters in the warehouse. So that was like, you could add that as a free gift with purchase. Um, here is, okay, that's not an add-on, that's an additional choice. Okay, here's the last add-on in here. I actually have one other add-on that is a drop ship item. I ordered like a big uh, skillet fry pan and that is coming direct from the manufacturer. So yeah, when I get that, um, I'll let you know. I don't think I have a tracking number for that yet. I have no idea. It just seems like tracking has been crazy this season. Uh, but this is the other item that they had said was out of stock. Ooh, and there is a screw just rolling around in here. Must be from this basket somewhere. I don't know. I don't actually, I don't know why there would be a screw in the basket. Oh, yeah, I guess there's supposed to be four screws in here. Um, there's supposed to be four screws in here holding that down and Clearly there's one that's floating around, but not in there. Cause like the wood is like ripped out. That's lovely. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much cause it's just a basket that's gonna be sitting. 
But anyways, I just thought this was really fun, really cute, super great for organizing. I'm excited that it came because I was not going to get it with my other box. Um, yeah. Okay, now we're going to get into my actual box, if I can pick it up here. This is what the box looked like. I'm sure you've seen like a million people's unboxings by now since um, my box is very late to the party. Um, I didn't pay for the rush shipping, obviously, since it is currently March 5th. Um, I didn't pay for rush shipping because for me, I'd rather add an additional choice. And I don't know, I just feel like we're telling them we're okay with paying for shipping uh, if we pay the rush shipping. But I don't know, this was a pretty crazy experience. My box literally sat for over two weeks. Like, I don't know, having a party with other people's boxes? I have no idea. So I'm super bummed. Hopefully they get their stuff together because this was a terrible shipping experience in my opinion. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. I just dropped all those papers. Um, there's a little postcard that's the 10 years of FabFitFun. It's got a little scratch off. I'm not gonna bore you and sit here and scratch off. If once I'm done filming, if I win, I doubt I do. But if there's anything that I win, I will let you know down below in the description box if I am a winner. And then there's a HelloFresh coupon code and a Pepper Bras coupon code here. Okay, so let's get into my choices here. Um, I'm gonna, I don't think I can set this down. I was gonna try to set it down, but I don't think I can do that without knocking the camera constantly. This is my first choice for category one. Actually, it's my only choice for category one. I tried to be really well behaved with this box. I added two additional customizations and that was it. So I thought that was pretty darn good. This, these are the Kate Spade uh, Samantha sunglasses. Um, I don't own any like fancy sunglasses. I actually haven't owned sunglasses for years because I wore glasses for years and years and years and I finally started wearing contacts again. So when I saw these in the box, I was super excited to try them out. So let's see if these actually look okay. I feel like they look decent. They're not like too big on my face or anything. So I'm happy with them for a box category. I mean, I would probably be a little bit pickier with the way they look if I paid $129, but they look pretty good for a $15 pair of sunglasses from Fat Fit Fun. So I like them. I am happy with this. So that was my category one choice. The Samantha sunglasses from Kate Spade. I like that they come with this little um, drawstring bag for them. Okay, category two, I got two items. This is my first item in category two. This is a Tula Skincare Brightening Treatment Drops, triple vitamin C serum. Um, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I love the Tula face wash. So when I saw this, they had a couple Tula options, um, but I'm just kind of always looking for a really great vitamin C. So Tula vitamin C, I had to get it. And then I added on, now I'm gonna have to move my box anyways here because it's in the bigger box. Um, I added on the Jonathan, Jonathan Adler glasses. <clears throat> now I had a big debate with myself because I loved these from the beginning, from the previews. Oh, I almost dropped that. Um, and I almost added three other sets of these on to my box and then my family convinced me, even my kids were like, mom, you don't even know if you like those glasses and that's a lot of money to pay for glasses you don't know if you love. I was like, okay, good point. So I only ended up with the one set of them. They're actually really good quality. They feel nice and heavy, solid. Um, it says Jonathan Adler on the bottom there. I really like these. I definitely think I'm gonna like them, but I agree. It was gonna be a little bit pricey to because I we have a family of six and I didn't want just six because my luck if I had gotten six of these total we would have broken one right away and then we would have had like five and that would have been sad because not everyone would have been able to use them um so I was gonna get four sets so eight total but that would have been an additional $45 and technically this was already an additional choice for me so it went $60 on glasses that I wasn't sure that I was gonna love so I didn't do it um Kind of sad because they're super cute, but I'm sure I can find some cute glasses on Amazon if I really did want to get new glasses. I wasn't in the market for new glasses or anything, but these are fun. They will definitely be fun to drink out of. Okay, then category three. 
Okay, I was gonna say I had to scroll through on my phone to see what category three was. Um, this was my initial choice for category three and I did add an additional item. So this is the Cryo Ice Sake Roller and it is sealed. So I really wanna open this and see. Um, from what I understand, it's not actually a roller. It's just kind of a metal plate, but it just looks like it would be really uh, refreshing. And I don't know, I feel like I was really brutal with myself and like narrowed down my choices. So I just decided I really did want this. So you keep this in the freezer and then you let it set for two minutes before you use it. And then you glide it on clean skin. Yeah, not a roller. It's just a little metal plate, but I think that's going to feel really good. I'm excited. It actually feels really cold just out of the box. Um, I'm excited to use this and letting it sit for two minutes doesn't bother me at all. I figure I will pull it out of the freezer, go wash my face, start my skincare, and then like rub this on my face with serum on my face already. So I'm excited to have this. I think that was a fun item. Is it gimmicky? Maybe, but I just think it seems fun and you know, I just decided to go for it. And then the item that I added additional is the Pat McGrath uh, lipstick. I was also really torn about this. Um, I have a ton of makeup and lipstick and I really didn't need this. The box and packaging is really cute. I'm sure you've seen people unboxing this, but that is just really cute. Um, it's got lips inside, but I decided to get this because I have a favorite MAC lipstick that is matte colored. Got it in BoxyCharm like a long time ago and I've never been able to find it like I mean, I'm sure I could go buy it on Mac full price, but I've like looked at TJ Maxx. I've watched for it in like Ipsy add-on sales and BoxyCharm sales, and I haven't been able to find it again. Um, this is the Femme Bot shade. So check out the little lips on that. Um, but I just decided, can I open this? Um, that I really wanted to try this because people were saying it's really matte. You may not like it. Yeah, that looks like really, really close to my Mac shade that I love. I think it's Teddy Bear is a shade that I love. Um, this might be a little bit more drying, but it just looked fun. I wanted to try it, so I did. I have lipstick on right now, so I'm not gonna put it on, but I added that on to my box. Okay, and then category four, I got the Vince Camuto Blue Ombre Necklace. <clears throat> Let's take this out here. I'm really excited about this because I've seen this in unboxings and it looks really pretty. I don't really have any blue jewelry. Like I've got a lot of like pink stones and whatever, but I don't have anything blue. So I'm trying to balance my box and show this to you. Sorry guys. Um, that is really pretty. I am very excited about that. Uh, so yeah, it's just three different shades of CZ little stones in there. It looks pretty and the back has like a little like the extender part has a little gem on it too so that is super fun okay category that was category four right i'm trying to keep these in order for you so i don't confuse anyone um this is what i picked for category five i'm kind of nervous about this because i've read reviews just in the last couple days on the forum that people really don't love this so i'm a little nervous it is the ncla beauty sleep overnight lip mask in birthday cake. I can kind of understand the people not liking it because I do have like a lip balm from NCLA and at first I hated it, but now it's kind of grown on me and I actually do like it. I don't smell anything. I don't know, I'm not smelling, all I'm smelling is my perfume right now. I'm not smelling anything. I'm not gonna put this on either because I have lipstick on, but well, maybe I'll just touch it and see what, ooh, it's like, I thought it was gonna be more solid. It's like very gel-like consistency. Yeah, I still don't smell anything. It feels like Vaseline, and I think that's what people were complaining about, that it just seemed like a Vaseline. Um, I'm sure it'll be great for dry lips. Um, it's definitely not like a really thick lip mask, but you probably can't see it on my hand. It's a little shiny, I don't know. I'm excited to use it. It's sad that I don't smell anything. Like I literally, all I can smell right now is my perfume. I'm not getting any birthday cake smell whatsoever with this. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. All right, and then I believe this is the last item here. This was what I chose for category six. Um, it is Summer and Rose Outdoor Roundy. Um, do I need another beach towel? No, for sure I don't. But 
I didn't really love anything else in category six and I just am kind of a sucker for towels even though I don't need another towel. Um, okay this is actually pretty big though. It's really like thin but yet it doesn't feel like cheap thin if that makes sense. Like it feels kind of microfiber-ish. I like this. I'm excited. Um, it would make a great picnic blanket honestly too to like lay out on the floor or watching fireworks on 4th of July, lay it down on the grass and sit down on it. I don't know. I didn't need a beach towel, but it's fun. And I guess that's what this box is about, right? So there you have it. That is my spring 2023 box. Am I getting another one? I don't know. Is this my original box? I think so, because it has my add-ons that were supposedly out of stock. But you never know with FabFitFun. I have no real idea. Oh, and if you made it all the way to the end, I am like competing, not competing, but I'm going to upload this video to FabFitFun's forum also to, well, yeah, compete in being one of the top 10 to get to work with them for their, uh, I don't think it would be the summer box. I think it would be the next box. What is after summer? Fall. Uh, spoiler promo video stuff. I'm going to be doing that in the for the summer box from last box. But anyways, the top 10 videos with the most likes will get to work with them again and I think get some kind of box credit. So if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, that would really help me out a lot, especially since this came late uh, and I'm kind of late to the party as far as getting likes. But anyways, that's my one request. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.